Uh, I feel like I've seen uh, just a, a pattern in my life, uh, just probably over the past like 10 years or so, uh, where I just, I, I work really, really hard and I, I strive really, really hard and it's almost like I reach a point of just like burnout. And um, as I think back to kind of where it all started for me, um, you know, I think like 10 years ago or so, um, I just was in a particular situation and I had people telling me that, um, that I wasn't good enough, that what I was doing wasn't good enough. Um, so I think I've just carried that around with me for many years. Um, and so it's just, it's just been this vicious cycle of me always asking the question, uh, am I good enough? Am I enough? Is what I'm doing enough? Um, and when I ask those, those types of questions, it, it, it's almost like this drive inside of me that like, I, I need to do more, I need to be more, I need to uh, be better. There's this passage in the Bible in John 15 where um, Jesus says, you know, I'm the vine and you are the branches and um, whoever abides in me will bear much fruit. And I, I think a lot about abiding and what it means to, to, to be with God. Um, and the, the, the two things I think about when I think about that verse are, are the idea of like connection or connecting with God and then uh, being dependent on God. You know, he goes on to say, apart from me, you can do nothing. And that's hard for me to hear because, you know, I'm someone who uh, just wants to go and just rely on my own strength. And I really feel like, you know, doing things on my own strength is probably my greatest weakness is because I can go and I can go and I can just do so much. I can produce, I can kind of kind of dwell on how awesome I think whatever I did was and not really feel like I've I've done anything because, you know, it was apart from God and this is what God says and and you know, when you go so hard for so long and you you know, you just do your best, um, and it's apart from the strength of God, you know, you can get burned out really easily. And I think that's what we do a lot. When people hear this song, my heart is that they would be reminded uh, that it's okay to slow down. It's okay to, uh, to stop the striving and, and just to be with Jesus because it's, this song was really written just out of my heart for just, um, I, I want to be with Jesus. I don't wanna be distracted by all the things I feel like I have to do. Um, I want to be able to constantly remember that that He is the most important thing, that just being with Him is the most important thing. And sometimes that's going to feel like, gosh, I'm just sitting around doing nothing, or I'm just sitting in Jesus' presence, I'm not getting anything done. Uh, but how that's literally the thing that fuels the rest of, of my life. And so, so much of, of my uh, natural instinct is to rely so much on, on, on who I am and what I've done, and what I've accomplished. God's saying, no, that's, that's, that's apart from me. That's, that's, that's you, that's nothing. Mm -hmm. You know, abide in me and you'll bear much fruit. And so God says, start with me, you know, be still with me, you know, just be with me, mm -hmm. have dependence on me and, and, and I'll give you the world. There's a, a line in the song that says, just slow down your wild heart. And, and I think about my heart and my heart, it's just, it's wild. It's, you know, I have lots of aspirations. I have lots of determination. I have a lot of, a lot of things that I just, I want to do and, and I want to be. And, um, you know, I'm a dreamer for sure. And um, so what, what does it look like for me to just slow down this, this wild heart that I have and just surrender it to Jesus and, and just be with Him in His presence? You know, in our minds, we're trying to do all this stuff to, to find identity, to prove ourselves, you know, to find our worth and our value in the things that we do. And the beautiful thing about our God is that He's saying that you don't have to do anything, you know? You don't have to be this or be that or do this or do that for me to like love you and accept you and, and want you to be in my presence. Um, and that's just the beautiful thing about Jesus is He's not saying, do all these things for me and then I'll accept you. <laughs> He's, he said, I've already accepted you. You're already my child, just be with me, that's what I want, so.